Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Asman Rashid. My name is Bernard Balkan. I'm Sahil Malik. My name is Reggio Nathan. And today we'll be discussing of our advertising sales pitch of Hero Burgers to all of you. So, so, um, so on our agenda today, we'll be talking about a bit about the company and its target segment. We'll be talking about the challenges that Hero Burger faces, some brand objectives and communication objectives towards meeting, the, meeting those issues, some creative ideas that we thought can help us accomplish our objectives. How the, we'll be discussing about how those ideas are inter, interconnected, and then we will conclude that, conclude that with a finish. So, in terms of the company, it was founded by, um, by John Letiri in 2003 in Toronto, Ontario. When he started this company, his goal was to establish a chain of restaurants that would sell real, wholesome food with strong sustainability in terms of that this food was properly farm-raised without any hormones or probiotics Towards our um, towards the consumer market. Now, as you notice, this company has been building a very strong base of fans that helps support the family-owned business and in towards its dedication to community, which means that Hero Burgers works hard to work towards helping our community and improving way of life, as well as providing sustainability in terms of our quality burgers. Now, after 10 years since they started, since they started 10 years now, they own at least 60 locations, and now they've become one of Ontario's most popular burger chains throughout, throughout Ontario. Now, the target market of this company is that it's towards the millennial age, which basically means it's Generation Y, which is us. And I will explain more of that in the next slide. Now, some of the challenges in regards to this is that we want to raise awareness towards millennials, which is our generation. And that awareness is mostly related to health reasons. As you know, some people like to question where our products come from. Some people don't even know where they come from. So we want to raise that awareness to that generation and tell them, where our products come from, and how is it properly made to, so no, to ensure that there's good brand recognition and good brand trust. Millennials, such as us, always watch what we eat. We always watch what we eat in our lives because we know that we always try to either diet due to, well, due to stress or just to fit in with looks. And then this, this issue, fast food affecting weight. This contributes to obesity. Our goal is that we want to show millennials of this age that we're fighting obesity and we're not, trying, we're not contributing to it. In terms of community awareness, which include charities such as not, which are non-for-profit organizations, we want to show people that we are contributing to the very community, to the very environment we work in. So charities such as Greenpeace or Doctors Without Borders, or any non-for-profit organization that is geared towards helping our environment, which is the planet, or helping out human-related causes, human-related issues. Those are the charities we wish to support because we know that this helps build good brand trust. Schools, places which are learning institutions, we want to help out in that community, help out schools because they are also part of that community and they contribute towards, towards everything else in society. Shelters, homeless shelters or animal shelters, people or animals who are in shelters because they have, they're facing harsh realities of the outside world. There's no refuge for them, no resource. So we wanna help out those as well to help better our community and help improve others as, as well, improve others who don't have those benefits like we do. 
Okay, so I'm going to be talking about some of the brand and communication objectives. One of our objectives is to increase our brand attitude and brand awareness. So by hosting community events, enhancing our reputation, you know, getting our name out there, getting our name out to, you know, just the general society. Uh, another one of our objectives is to create more brand trial purchases and gain new customers by satisfying brand loyal customers and creating repeat purchases with new deals every week, such as free upgrades to any combo or uh, buy one get one free off any uh, menu items, such as you know burgers, sandwiches, stuff, stuff like that, of that kind of variety. And another one of our objectives is to gain brand switching purchases by promoting a wide variety of menu options for consumers, such as non-GMO, genetic, genetically modified organisms, so all natural products, gluten-free products, and uh, offering a wide variety of toppings, and uh, kind of build your own sandwich type of deal, kind of like similar to Harvey's, but you know, with a lot, a wider variety. So we also differ from McDonald's and Burger King who don't let you customize your own sandwich that much, and we want to improve that a little more. So for example, we have different types of breads, different types of toppings, different kinds of cheese, condiments, and you know, different kinds of burgers, such as you know, chicken, uh, beef, turkey, vegetarian, fish. So all types of wide varieties for our menu, which is what we want to try and differ and you know, stay away from kind of McDonald's and Burger King. All right, thank you, Reggie. Uh, now we're gonna go to the creative ideas that we saw fit for Hero Burger's objectives. Uh, one would be giving a one day free exercise session with the uh, purchase of a burger. Uh, we're just, we were trying to connect that to our health awareness and fighting obesity. Also, what, one, one that we thought of that was really uh, clever and fun for the millennials would be um, Hero Burger hosting an all you can eat burger contest where all the proceeds went to the charities that Hero Burger was already paired with and already has done work with. Uh, we saw that as a very good opportunity to cross brand and cross market our products to many different sectors that we might not have been tapping before. Also, uh, um, along the same ideas of cross branding, Hero Burger would like to uh, venture into side merchandises such as t-shirts, and water bottles and hats to further promote uh, the brand awareness and also um, promote the charities that they are working with. Uh, so this aligns with the objectives of Hero Burgers because hosting charity alignment would uh, uh, involve uh, our marketing and communication objectives. It would help us to introduce any new products or a new direction to the company at these events. Uh, at these events, we could also heavily market any uh, other products that we have, and it could also give us the opportunity to cross uh, advertise and cross brand uh, at these events. Uh, giving a trial as exercise session aligns with our behavioral and communication uh, objectives. Uh, this helps promote a healthy management lifestyle, and it also uh, changes the per uh, perception of uh, the company to be a more uh, health conscious uh, company. So to conclude, the goal of Hero Burgers is, promotion, is to promote brand recognition and brand identity. This includes being associated in eco-related or cause-related issues. With, e it's, with eco-related issues, this involves the environment, whether it's happening here or it's happening around the world and cause-related issues such as the obesity uh, rates going high, that would be one cause-related issue. Now being involved in this leaves a positive impression in our community, which is the local community that which we serve, serve in, as we are also answerable to that very community that we work in and work towards trying to help improve their own way of life. Now we also would like to increase brand switching purchases. So. We also like to provide wide range of products and different kinds of differentiation towards those with certain dietary needs, certain, um, let's say, certain religious restrictions, and those who 
have certain kinds of, well, I've already stated this, dietary needs, but those who have their certain moments or wish to have certain amounts of control in their own life. So, so thank you for this presentation. Thank you all for listening, and I hope all this, I hope all of you have benefited, and have a good day. Thank you.